if you wanted to take the Slutsky, so the Slutsky equation at the individual level, right, can be written like this. Okay, and you said, okay, let me try to go from the individual level Slutsky equation to an aggregate Slutsky equation. I want to aggregate this up, right? Everybody understand that? I got a bunch of individuals. For each individual, I write down their Slutsky equation, right? So everybody's got their own terms. And this holds for each person in the economy. Now I'm going to add this up over people. And you can see, it's, it really, you can kind of do it, right? I can add this up over people. I can add that up over people, and it's got a very natural interpretation. Sorry, this, I think it should be J on the denominator. Right hand side. Oh, it's probably J, sorry. You, got my, you caught me in my random notation model, which doesn't, please catch me on that. I do that all the time. The sum over people of these are the Marshallian effects. And you can add up the Marshallian effects for people, right? Because when my price, when the price went up, I bought two units less. You bought three units less, you bought five units less. We just add all them together. That's, that aggregates in a very natural way. It's just a quantity reduction. This is the total actual quantity reduction. <coughs> what is this term? Well, that's just the aggregate Hicksian effect. That's how much I would reduce my consumption of good I, holding my utility constant, how much you would holding your utility constant, right? I can add those up too. That's the sub, and each one of those numbers, if we were looking at an II, each one of those would be negative, and the total would be negative. Everybody agrees with that, right? So what happens when I come to this term? Is that like an, is that an income? Is that an income effect? It is. You could rewrite this term. Let me write this term in kind of a nice way. I could write this the sum of the xj times the sum of the xj <laughs> partial xi partial m divided by the sum of the xj. That's what that term is, right? All I did was just multiply and divide by that. Again, this is a nice number. I understand what that number is. That's what? What is the sum over people of xj? That's total consumption. So I'm almost there. This is the what? What is this term? It's like an average marginal propensity to consume. But it's a weighted average, weighted by consumption. This is the point we got to before. This is the average across people of their marginal consumption of good I, good, good I with respect to income, but it's weighted by their consumption of good J. And so this number is not, look, doesn't look like an income elasticity. Why? Why is this not quite like an individual income elasticity? This is kind of the trick. Because if this was an individual, this income elasticity number, or this income marginal change, would be the same no matter which goods price was changing. If I change the price of good 7, or I change the price of good 9, or I change the price of good 12, right? 
the Slutsky term, this term here, partial xi, partial m, that's the same number, no matter which goods price is changing. Unfortunately, in this formula, this is going to change every time the good whose price is changing is different. Because there is no really aggregate income effect. That's the problem. Right? There's an aggregate price response, which is the sum of the individual's price responses. There is an average compensated response, which is the sum of how everybody responds if their income's constant. But there is no, quote, average, there's no, like, aggregate income effect. Why? Because it depends on who you give the income to. Because unless everybody spends income the same, that is, if this derivative is the same for everybody, then there's an aggregate income effect. If this term differs across people, then the income response is going to be different depending on how I generate the income. If I reduce the price of donuts, that's a positive income effect for who? For Homer Simpson and all the guys who like donuts, right? Guys who don't eat donuts, they don't get any more income when the price of donuts goes down. Right? When I reduce the price of haircuts, bald guys, they don't get no more income. Right? They're not going to get their hair cut to begin with. Right? So you got to think about it. It's a different income. That's what kind of causes the problem. And that's where all you know, the shenanigans happen. All right? any, any questions that people have? That's got a little bit, little bit of digression on the Slutsky. Question. 